Hello. Turn that down a little bit. How's everyone doing? Hope you're having a great Saturday. Boy. Hello, Gingerbeard. Hello, John in West Texas. Mathits, how you doing? Lone Wolf. Hello, Shaffy. Just jump in and say hello before you head out. Well, I hope you have a great rest of your night. Thanks for saying hi. Hello, Red Eye. How you doing? Ryder, what up? Lone Wolf McGee. Hey, Jonathan. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, Ellie. How you doing? Hello, Gingerbeard. Did I hit Gingerbeard already? Oh, you were the first one here. You were in the first, uh, you were crowned the first champion. Hello again, Ryder. I'm gonna love the inspirations of Secret Superstars. Nice. Bigger Rally Championships. Oh boy. Well, it's uh, Cricket Superstar Saturday. You know what that means. Last few Saturdays we have open lobbies. I'm going to uh, quickly just look over some paint schemes because once we get in there, we're kind of stuck with what we got, and I want to make sure. Yeah, those are fine. Russo, I think I could use an update. Not too much going on in terms of the options for this one. Yeah, it's fine. Ooh, I like that one. That's fine. That one's nice and bright. Chino. Yeah, I'm gonna get a checkerboard. I like that orange, but I've been liking I've been liking an alternate as well. Not blue. That would not be an alternate. A light green. Like a minty green. I think that could be fun. What is this? Ah, oh, it's that, that line right there. Okay. Hmm? But how's everyone doing? Hello, Kyle C. Hi, hi, hi. Yeah, I like that. That's nice. Oh, gotta get that four up, though. I think the rest are pretty good. Do we have a paint scheme for the rocket? Yeah, I think it's this. There's not too many options for the rocket. It's just like these four. I like that double line there. I'll go with that. Make the wheel bright. Make that white. This looks so dark. Probably because there's a shadow. Eh, it's still dark. I don't know. Oh, how dare you? There we go. All right, let's get into uh, some lobbies. Oh, I, I really like this one. I forget if this was the default. That one's sick. Yeah, I like these. The rest of the color uh, options are okay. All right. Red, yellow, and blue. Okay, I'll get online. Now, I, I know last time we did lobbies, or last few times, I have had issues where it'll kick everybody at the end of each race. However, I did try, I mean, this isn't, this isn't making me feel like it fixed the problem. <laughs> But uh, I, I adjusted some network things and so on. So hopefully it works a little better. We'll see. If not, it seemed like everybody stuck around last time. So we'll just roll with it for now. All right. So the lobby RUQ GPR. RUQ GPR.
All right. Oh, we already got a bunch in here. Hello, Dennis1080. Dennis1080. Gotta go right now. Watch some. All right. Sounds good, Ryder. Have a good night. Enjoy your movie. Hello, Cody. Gingerbeard's in here. Idol fan. I think that's John in West Texas. Yeah. Kyle, Lone Wolf, Morse fam, and Red Eye. Welcome, welcome. Oh, yeah. I guess I should make the settings. Okay. Uh... Something simple. I like I like to open up with a warm up. Get reacquainted. I I mean, I... Sunnyside Park's pretty simple. I guess we could do that. Is there a, there isn't a reverse layout either, huh? It's just that. Uh, cars. I wonder how many have the. Let's use this as a test race. I'm gonna set this to dynamic because I have no clue what that's going to do. I'm going to choose the rocket, which was part of the DLC. It's that three-wheeled car. I'm assuming that the others who don't have the DLC can't use it, but we'll see what happens. So if you do have the DLC, choose that car. If you don't, choose the uh, bonk. Yeah, something large, which will be obnoxious. Choose the bonk. Uh, qualify lap one. We'll do a simple seven laps. This. Down to 75, and there we go. Hey, Dennis, never really done online, but here I am. Well, there you go. This is the only time I go online as well. I'm definitely a uh, offline racer for the most part. Hello, Mint Maid. Just the DLC can use it. That's what I figured. Yeah, it's it's slow. It's the slowest car, is it? Is officially? If we use science, uh, it's also I feel like the most the car with the biggest handful to just stay upright. <laughs> Which is why I, I wish everyone could use it, because I'd love to just throw that in there once in a while. Oh, it's the one. I forget Mint Maid. I keep forgetting that that's your. I gotta write that down somewhere. You might have to remind me again at some point. Ooh, there's uh, oh, the Vost. That's not what I'm using right now, but I love the paint schemes on that one. All right, this is the one. If you have the DLC, use this thing. It's also like a pigeon, like a pigeon car or something. Is that what these are also called? If you don't have the DLC, I guess use the Bonk. So we'll have a multi-class race here. A little warm up. Caravan can be used by hosts, uh, by everyone if host has it. This we we know. However, I have not had a successful caravan race yet. It usually ends up disconnecting everybody. I don't know why. And if we do get a race off, it seems like throughout that race, everyone like people just start dropping. Oh, look at him! All right, we got a we got a decent amount of. DLC rocket cars in this one. Oh, this is great. It is going to be interesting navigating the bonks in these things. We're like ants. They just got to try not to step on us. It's so slow. Get ready for a flying lap. Me and my lawnmower. Oh, no. Yep, that will be the, the single front wheel. I forgot, you have to be a little bit more careful than that. Whoa. Oh. Just tiptoeing it. Hey, Dennis getting pole overall. And I, I feel like Kyle definitely had a faster lap than I did. Yeah, Kyle gets... Well, we got a few more coming in. Red Eye. Oh, Red Eye jumped us. I think Kyle's still up there. I can't see the full leaderboard. I'm going to assume that Kyle got the uh, pole for the rocket. Yeah. Yeah, that one. 
Cody is a very... It's tough. The bonk is fast. Like, I feel like they made it quicker. But at the same time, I'm, I'm okay with it because it still feels like it's super heavy to slow down. And I remember at one point, like, I think they kind of fixed it, but, like, the first version of the bonk, it felt very heavy and was just, like, a hand, like, it was so much to get around turns. And you felt like you were, like, breaking something, like, heavy machinery. But then one of the updates, they made it super light. I did not like it. I was vocal about it on my stream. <laughs> But I think I think they they brought it back again at some point after that, and it was uh, it was nicer to race, and it still feels that way now. Like I, I like, it still feels heavy, but it definitely feels a little bit more nimble than it was. Most cars did get an adjustment, yeah. Well, maybe it may be the the fact that it's more nimble in general. It's definitely easier to turn and stuff. Maybe that just makes it feel faster. And Kyle, you were destroying. Oh, I can't. I I always get so. Oh boy, I'm gonna take this uh, corner cut. <gasps> Don't kill me. Oh. Oh, I'm a lap down. Wait. Yeah, I didn't put all collisions on. I mean. I guess in this moment I'm okay with it, but it would have been more fun. You just got booted? Oh. We'll get you back in when we get into the next lobby. Don't do it. Yeah. I'm a little disappointed I forgot to turn all collisions on. These are really slow. This is... It's like you're driving a golf cart around, but it's missing a wheel. Boy. Hang on to it. Hello, Dennis. We'll be seeing you. Oh, that was nice of them. They 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 let us uh, go do another lap. Thank you. Because if they crossed the line, the race would have been over for us. Oh. All right. I don't think I'll be choosing this one again, even though it's pretty hilarious. It is rather slow. Doesn't make for a very exciting race. If we had a full field of like 12 of them, then I think it could be hilarious because everyone I think would be around each other, but big lulls. Nice job, Kyle. Nice job, Dennis. Gingerbeard idol fan on the podium. That's our warm up race. Those are tricky. Oh no, it's definitely gonna kick everybody. Oh well. Same red eye. I I kept the. Uh, I don't know if it was I was forgetting. Oh man, it feels worse than that before. Yeah, I, I um, actually have. Well, we have Bonkadonk, and then uh, I have another game that I thought up using that car. So obviously whoever is that that car will have to have the DLC, but I have an idea. We can use uh, we can do that later in the night. Uh, here's the new lobby YRZLMQ. I'm sorry that it kicks everybody. I don't understand. I tried fixing it. I'll have to dig deeper, I guess, or reach back out to the devs. I'd have someone else host, but. The only way I can really join, like I have to, for me to join a lobby, I have to like try like five times or so. It usually just keeps kicking me. 
and I have no clue why, because it doesn't affect everybody. Uh, Alright, I think people are getting in here. I can work on the settings. Alright, we'll have a little bit more of a normal race. We're going to save Sugar Hill for when we do our multi-class race. I want to do another one of those for sure. I just did 99 laps at Renvoort. I don't really want to do that again. Perfect. We'll go a little classic. This doesn't have a reverse, huh? That's, I guess that's true. Uh, whenever I leave the game for a little bit, sometimes I get confused on what cars are what. I think this is, is this the Bresso? I think this is the Bresso. All right, this will be a little bit more of like a standard race. Obviously, we'll be mixing in some uh, some meme quality stuff later on. 50s is the Bresso. Thank you very much, Summer Unicorn. Hope you're doing good. Uh, yeah, I like to make tire wear higher. No consumption we can have there. Damage from opponents is good. Drafting is good. All collisions. Alrighty. Alright, this is a little bit more of a, a legit race, so hang in there. We're going old school. Ooh, we got 10 out of 12. Any latecomers? Any more hopping in? When was the last fresh reinst reinstall? I already tried that as well. Tried freshly reinstalling, tried moving my... I mean, it's always been on an SSD. Tried moving the drives. Tried network stuff. Brainstormed with one of the devs. I don't know. Unfortunate. All right, we'll get going then. Thanks for coming out, though. I mean, this is great. We got a big crowd already right at the start. I should have picked a fun color for this one. That one's kind of fun, but I think that's like a default. Eh. Yeah, I'll go with that one. I want more paint schemes, even for the old cars. I want more. We have more slots, but I want more like designs. Oh boy. Hello, Hayden. I was watching the Xfinity race. I've been wanting to race this one a little bit more. This is one of the cars I don't have as much experience on. But I guess the handling changed on most of the cars. Got in the dirt, dang it. I've, I think that messed up my lap. I took a bad angle on that last turn, too. Ugh. So far? So far? So far? Oh boy, here comes the ringer. Dang it! <laughs> Summer unicorn! I, the moment you see someone who holds back at the end, so they're not in the traffic, you know they're quick. Nice job on the pole. Wait. Oh, I thought we had another person. We did. They didn't take pole, though. Nice job, Summer Unicorn. This is my favorite track. <laughs> I 
I started getting excited, and then all of a sudden I saw that other dot move, and I was like, oh, no. <laughs> That's interesting, it goes the opposite way. Oh, I let go of the wheel for a quick second. I steered right into the wall. Some unicorn can put on a tutorial. Oh yeah, very smooth. I remember when we were in ICSTC, I remember this track. I think I raced it with bugs. And it was very apparent in how quickly we fell behind. <laughs> I think when we lost the draft, it was all over. By like, the end of lap one. I feel like this track's very momentum based too. Like just finding the exact way to get around it without rubbing speed. Ooh, I think I messed that one up. Yes I did. Oh. I'm afraid to look anywhere. I'm trying to actually race. Oh, decent. Normally I'd comment some of the rest of the race. Of course I tried there and I lost my concentration. There we go. That was a little bit of an angle. I hit the brake. In the grass. Whoosh. Oh my goodness. What the heck? These things are fun to whip around. I I think I like this car now. I did not like it so much beforehand, unless it's just the placebo effect, but I did not like this car, and I'm actually kind of enjoying driving this around, kind of whipping it around. So we're five, six laps of 14 now, 38 on fuel. Whoa. Not a lot of rubber going down on the track. Wah. Oh, Summer Unicorn hitting the pits. Yeah, the old tires. Probably would have been smart to do. Not like I was dealing with traffic or anything. We just hit zero tires. Whoosh. Oh, we're skipping, hopefully. That's not too bad. All right. Ah, I stopped a little short. 8 of 14. Probably didn't need to stay that long, but... Oh, yeah, look at all that time we lost. I mean, we were pretty far behind already, but... Everybody else hitting the pits. Oh, I cannot. I say this every time, but and I'll probably say it again later in the stream, but I cannot wait for the full leaderboard so I can just see the whole picture, what everyone's doing. Well, 
Well, we do have all collisions on, and there's still a decent amount of race, and Summer Unicorn is catching traffic. So, never say never. A lot of things that can happen. Oh, John. Hi. John. Oh. Hello, Hayden. Hello, Ginger Beard. Ooh, I like the black and white scheme. I feel like this track is a good example of, like, one that could be like a like a rolling hills through the countryside type of race like old school grand prix type of race or something oh you don't have to stop there ginger beard you can keep racing you don't gotta let me by i can pass you on the straights like i i think i said during the 99 lapper i think Especially after watching the Chicago Street Race for NASCAR. It would be so cool to have like a city race. And then they could have a lot of fun with the uh, surfaces and the bumps. And just like make it a little difficult in that regard. Like you're hitting manholes, you're hitting different pavements. Wearing down street kind of stuff. But the problem there would be like the buildings and that getting in the way. But like you could have it around a park, kind of like the NASCAR race was, so that wouldn't be an issue for the camera. But I think that kind of track and like a rolling hills, like classic GP and countryside kind of stuff would be a lot of fun. Hello. All right. White flag. I have no clue where Summer Unicorn is, but probably already on the second half of this track. Didn't let go of the throttle that, that whole turn. Yeah, I stayed way too long on the fuel, too. You can see how much extra I have. Nice job, Summer Unicorn. GG. The like Kyle's running third. I don't know how close that battle is. I'm assuming they... I have no clue where they are, honest. We didn't get our checker flag. Ah, oh, there it is. Like, where's my checker flag? You ran out of fuel at the line? Ah. Oh. Yeah, nice job, Summer. Nice job, Kyle. Get on that podium. And Red Eye, staying on that lead lap. I love that they fixed the uh, lap down thing, too. It's so nice. It was very confusing looking before the, that update. It looks cool now. All right, there we go. I wish I could have the music on. I'm always afraid it'll give me a uh, copyright strike. So I turn the game music off. Maybe they could fill that with clapping or something. Didn't they used to have cheering during that part? I could have sworn there was cheering. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. I was getting a little wild watch beard behind, so easier to let you go past. No worries, Ginger Beard. I just don't want anyone to feel like they gotta let me go by. Well, I mean, obviously, like, doing the courteous thing, letting a lead lap car go by is preferred in those more legit races, but, like, you don't gotta stop your race, is what I'm saying. But I get it if you don't wanna 
You want to be just careful if you're losing it. Fight between Red Eye and me was fierce. Nice. Kyle's the first one in. Kyle, do you type in the lobby codes or you just click my name and join game on Steam? If you are a friend with me on Steam, do that. That's a good way to do it. They they created the music? Oh, okay. Yeah, I just turn it off by habit. It's one of the unfortunate things of making a YouTube channel is like you don't get to enjoy soundtracks anymore <laughs> which are always like when i think back on nostalgia type games it's like that's such a major part of it all <laughs> you just don't get that anymore if you record things that is okay what can we do now what can we do now that was a fun bit race i like revisiting this one too i think this is this will be a good one i think we did this early on in last Last Saturday. Where am I going? Let's do the short track racing. And it's not at these ovals. It's at this one. Short track racing. Oh, we got another one. Who else joined us? Ah, there's the one. Just in time for the pain. I'll, uh... Guess I'll... Do that, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm gonna also bump this up. So if you are not careful enough hitting the break, you will also take damage. So just keep that in mind. Drafting, we can put it at 75. Uh, I think that's good. Oh, I probably should. Forget what we did last time. 20 laps, is that good? And this. This is what makes it. The heavy, the heavy truck you gotta stop. And then the short turns, the hairpin turns. I would love like a Martinsville track. Boom, boom, boom. Thank you so much everybody for joining us. We got 11 cars this time. All right. Sienna, please. Oh, we just did that one. Oh, you wanted to see that track again? Yeah, me too, Ginger Beard. I, I feel like I could use some fresh paints, fresh alternates, especially now we got more spots. All right, so this one, uh, just keep in mind, everybody, there's going to be contact. Uh, I mean, it's short track racing. Bumpers are going to happen just by way of people not being able to stop these beasts. But I'd also just ask everybody not to just full send missile into the field in the turn one, please. <laughs> Because that would also not be that fun. Ah, oh, hit the wall. I usually have a pretty good qualifying run. I think Kyle... Oh, I thought Kyle had a pretty good run, too. Oh, all right. Who, who's going to knock me off? Who's this? Who's that little dot? Nope. Was there another one? That, that one's going fast. No? Hey, 
We got a pole. This is the only place I can get a pole. I'll do my best not to miss out. <laughs> ah, look at that. Point one, two, two. That was a good qualifying session. You don't think you've ever done this combo before? Bearder with the plant based pole award. All right, GG. Good luck, everybody. This is uh, this is a fun rate. This is one of my favorite combinations. Short track race, and here we go. <laughs> oh man! Oh, the way every oh no, I got a little squirrely. The way everyone has to creep around that first turn. Oh, I heard a big hit. Oh, red eye. I heard a big hit back there. There's gonna there's gonna be some pit stops for damage, I think. Oh red eye. Oh no. Oh Kyle got a corner cut. Kyle's got some pace though. Kyle 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 knows NASCAR. Oh no the one. I got a dent in my tire. Old lefty back there is like, why me? <laughs> Whoa, a full send by Kyle. I'm scared. I'm trying to run away. I put a decent amount of laps in this one. This is going to be... Uh... I, I feel like I normally don't do this many laps. Well, on online, I, I can't remember how long because I I made a specific video for this at one point. I was trying to find like fun little combinations with the AI. I think I did. I don't know how many laps I did here. Knowing me, I wouldn't be surprised if it was like 99. But it was 500% damage. Short track racing with the AI using the box here at the mini track. But it was a good time. I feel so long ago now. This first turn's so tough, especially when you're in traffic, because you, to get the angle, get out of that quickly. Ooh, I don't know how I didn't get a corner cut there. You really have to take, like, you have to expose your inside line. But if someone's with you, you can't really expose that, because they'll get under you. So if you don't have someone right on you, you can go much faster. Hello, John. High five. And that, that turn on the outside wall, I mean, the outside wall on that turn, if you don't get a good angle on turn one, is always an issue, too. All right, we're m about midway. Hopefully we're okay on fuel. I think we should be good. It's really going to be damage maintenance, I think, if people have to pit. Alright, so this is the actual midway. 58, so we should be good on fuel. I think. Maybe I had... Slower laps, that, that first one, and I'm, I'm going to use more fuel this second half, but who knows. Yeah, we do have some pit stops. People hitting the, the pits for fuel, for uh, for health. Oh, maybe it'll pay off, too. Like if I, if I don't go in there and then I find out I don't have enough fuel or something, that might be an issue for me. The one stayed out. Summer unicorns up into the top three. And we are working our way. It really timed out nicely for us as the leader because I feel like the field, for the most part, hit a pit cycle as we were rolling through. And we got all the way up to past seventh while people were in the pits. So 
a lone wolf in the top five. There's Morris fam. Or wait, that's Cody. Oh, it's getting high traffic over here. Oops, sorry. Sorry, Cody. Ah. Now we're down to 92. 16 laps in. Oh, trying to get this going. Oh no, we got a wreck back there. You know what would be also kind of fun? Is if they implemented yellows. Which I know, I mean, would probably get old. But still having the option, and, and it's probably so hard. But like, even if it was an option for human players, like say you don't even want to try that with the AI. It was an option in a lobby if the host could like hit the yellow flag or something and it pops up on everyone's screen and we all gotta gather back up. That was so fun. We tried that, I know, like with Kenjo and Nomo and some others. I tried that with them like back in the day after an ICSTC race and they had somebody like actually watch all of our screens, like our shared screens on Discord, and they were keeping an eye out for whatever. And then they'd come out of the pits with the pace car, and we'd all pace and gather up again. It was actually pretty freaking fun. I know I, I recorded it, but I don't think I ever edited and uploaded it. But it was pretty fun. Oh, we had plenty of fuel. Just gotta be careful here with, uh, hello, Lone Wolf. And boom. Short track racing. Hopefully everybody had fun. Hopefully there wasn't frustration back there in the field. It, it, it looked like there was some interesting storylines going on though. I, I personally really like mixing in that combo once in a while because I feel like you don't see that kind of thing. I don't know why my D-pad only glitches on this game. Ah. Oh, the other Italian tra Oh, okay, gotcha. Oh, that's true. Right, I mixed that up. My bad. 75 horsepower for 13 laps. Oh, no. <laughs> the pit instead of doing most of the race was 71 health. Yeah, it's, um... It's, like... It's an interesting decision to make mid-race. 82 health most of the race, so not too bad. There you go. It's like, like, do am I going to lose more time pitting and healing the car? Or should I just like wait this out? Typically, I think, I don't know. When I get into the 70s, I'm, obviously it depends on the situation in race and, and track. But like if I'm doing stuff like this, typically I feel like once I get into the 75 range, I'm like, okay. I think we maybe should pit, like if it's, if it's early on in the race. But if I'm in the 80s, I think I, I just accept that I've uh, gotten myself out of contention for the win, and I'm just kind of racing for place. Hey, how you doing? You're tipping. How you doing? Thanks for joining us. We might get a full lobby this time. Hello, Robletto. How you doing? You're having a good day. Does it when you're by yourself? Oh, yeah. I should probably choose the next race. Uh, uh, the, if you uh, depend on me to say the, the letters, it's E-U-B-G-T, or E-U-B-G-D-P is the lobby code. Like we got two more slots. Not Lost Lagoons. I don't want to go there just yet. Did we already close out that playlist? We did. All right. Hmm. At some point soon, I think we're going to do the Super Draft, Pacino Super Draft series where we do that tournament because that's an absolute blast. And I can't wait to do that. You want to go to Siena? 
It's a tough track for those who uh, don't know it, but I'll do it. We just had like a for fun settings race, so we'll go back to uh, a more legit one. All right, sounds good, Kyle. Sorry you were having issues with the control. It was good racing with you, though. Uh, we have one more slot. We're going to be going to Siena. Let's get rid of that super truck. Oh, I think it would probably be a blast rolling that one around there. I almost want to do the Brusso again. I had a lot of fun driving that thing. Oh. I mean, I feel like it'd be mean to almost throw this on some some people, the F1 car. But I think the F1 car is a lot of fun here. All right, we're going to do it. I won't make it a super long race. All right. We'll have it shorter, but consumption is going to be a little bit more. Get this back down. I'm just going to put that to 50 now because we're not doing that short track race. Draft, we can go to 100. All right. And yeah, this looks pretty good. All right, we have we got 11 in here. We all good? Hey, what well, Pablo? How you doing? Long time don't see. Hope you've been doing good. Alrighty. Ooh. I must have came in here and adjusted. I kind of like that one. I'm going to go with that one. All right, so it, if you, uh, this one's going to be kind of tough. I'll put it out there. So don't get, if you're having trouble, don't get too frustrated. I kept the laps a little short, uh, but just to try to hang in there best you can. Ooh, I, oh, who has the, uh, that creamsicle looking one? That's a nice scheme. I got to find who that was. That third place one. Oh, Morris fam. Is that you? I think that might be yours. That looks so good. I think it's that one. I don't know. Maybe it was someone farther back. I can't tell when everyone's ghosted. Oh my goodness. This will definitely lead to a very good qualifying lap being in the middle of all this. <laughs> They're so quick. I haven't driven this car in a little, little while. I messed that turn up. Oh my goodness. I tried to get a little too fancy. I, I'm not I'm not feeling great about that one. Whoa, Robledo with the lead. Is anyone else still going? We got one more. Who's this gonna be? Number unicorn gets up in the top three. Nice job, Robledo. The plant-based pole award. Nice job. Not feeling this one. All good. Yeah, I, I felt like it, this one was going to be a little tough, but we'll, we'll go back to some more fun... Uh, settings in the next one. I'm feeling the Pacino Super Draft race next up. So if you're interested in that, I think you'll you'll probably have fun with that one. We're we'll do that next. All right. Good luck, everybody. We got some quick racers in this one. Oh boy, I'm a little scared. Oh, 
Ooh. Oh, three wide. Go back out of that. Oh. Oh my. <laughs> Just along for the ride at this point. Everybody's avoiding each other. Oh, Muratopin uh, got the, the bad end of the stick there. I feel like it was still the best decision just to tap out of the throttle for that part. The one's got the inside line. There we go. They move into third. Renai in second. Robletto out front. I think it's a good thing I turned the damage down a little bit for this one. It looks like the back of the pack's still pretty close together. Probably some good racing back there still. I do not feel super confident in this car. I feel I'm struggling on my corners. Oh, the one gets some contact on the wall. And we're there to take advantage. Red Eye getting a little out of whack as well. Oh, we took the wide, wide turn. The one's got the advantage on the straightaway. And I'm going to give him the spot. Oh, no, we got shoved. That wasn't the one, though. I think that was just the POV. Oh, no. This, the fun thing about these cars is, like, sometimes you'll just get, like, a little bit of dirt or whatever, and it makes them so loose. I feel like this is one of the few cars in the game that, like, you actually feel like you have a loose car once in a while. All right, let's see if we can get into uh, Red Eye's draft here. Uh-oh. That might be a wall ride penalty, and it was. All right, run away. Oh. Run away. Oh, summer unicorns on the way. Five of nine. All right, got some peat stops. So fuel looks like it was going to be good. It's really the tires that's the issue. Oh, I can already feel the tires are not happy. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I I, I was I was like, oh, let's see what happens if I stay out. But I'm just going to go get some freshies. I think it'll be best. Probably shouldn't have gotten an extra lap. Should have stayed out if I was going to do it. Got 100%. Got some freshies. And uh, let's see how it goes. Fall back to fifth in the cycle. I think there's still some that have not pit yet, though. I wonder if some unicorns might be pushing to the end. Because the, the, we, we're good on fuel. I thought about it, but I didn't think I was going to survive if I stayed out on the zero tires. There's Cody going in for some freshies. And we move on up. All right, we're up into third. Summer did pit. The one skipped over us on the uh, on the uh, short pit. Or did they pit? I don't know. Oh, ah, yeah, I got it. Corner cut there. We got one lap to go with the line. Oh, nice job. Oh, park the bus. Oh, did you get a... Did I, I hope I didn't shove you into the corner cut. I have a feeling that the one stayed out on the zero tire and was doing all they could to hold hold us off with the park the bus. That I feel like that's a sign of old tires. You gotta let me know in chat. Nice job, Robletto, as well. You rocked that one. My goodness. The one with the podium finish. 
lag strutter in too much to deal with this faster car just sitting out the remaining laps so you're not a rolling barrier yeah it sounds good that is another thing too it's kind of why i i really enjoy racing with the bonk and the pacino online because i feel like they're a little bit more friendly in terms of the uh, pov stuff and the lag oh gotcha 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 have we done stock cars with the super draft mode um I, I mean, at some point in the past, I think we have, but they're a little tougher to drive. We can try it. Try it. I usually, for that stuff, I, I like the Pacino Super Draft. I like to do that because I feel like it's definitely a, uh, a field. What is what am I, what word am I looking for? A, a field leveler. Like, yeah, it levels the field. Because one, it's pretty easy to drive. Obviously, the, the draft and the rubber banding keep everybody in it. And all that stuff. That's why I like to go with that. So here we go. Super draft. If you're interested, this is typically one of the most fun parts of the uh stream. At least for me. I, I really enjoy this this one. Uh, fuel consumption, yeah, we... Bonks with super draft. You know what? Let's try it. We'll do a single race with it, just as a test. I'm fine trying that out. We'll do it at an oval. I ain't gonna do 14 laps in the bonk at Spinopolis, though. Uh, yeah, let's do it this one. This one will be easier, I think, for people. Oh, someone left. <laughs> I feel like maybe someone was not interested in the Bonk Super Draft. I don't know who it was, though. <laughs> I do really... I think the... Um, even though the Pacino Super Draft... Because we don't just do the oval with them. We also do s some, like, you know, simpler road stuff with them. I think that is one of the more fun little... For fun tournaments we do. Oh, you got booted? Where am I going? I keep looking at chat and then I get lost. All right. Do we usually move this down? Can't remember. I'll keep it at 50. Keep everyone in the race. All right, we're doing the bonks. Full draft, full rubber banding at the oval. You will be all over everybody's bumpers. So just keep that in mind. Yeah, it's it's definitely an adjustment, especially after doing a slower car. I right, have two spots open if anyone's interested. This is uh this is a race for any anybody really. You have a potential to win this one whether you're number 1 on the leaderboard or not. I'm going to go 3 2 1 blast off. Yeah, I think we'll do the Pacino one soon. And at some point tonight, remind me of Robledo. Uh, we'll we'll try out the uh, the stock cars with them. I always think that this is the one I like to choose, and then I'm like, oh, this is the classic one, and then this one. It's so crisp. I love this one. Also, thank you for subscribing, and I have this game too, so if I get the chance, I'll participate. Uh, I'm not sure what to say for the name. 
but thank you for subscribing, and you're totally welcome to join. All right, here we go. This is qualifying. Very smooth. It's kind of like, and they're, these are so subdued in terms of like the motor sounds compared to the Bacinos. It's like little long mowers. Nice job, submarine. Oh, Robletto getting the pole. I fall to fourth. Nice. Look how close the qualifying was all throughout. That's from this awesome. All right. Again, uh, this one people will be over everybody's bumper. It's just part of it with this much draft and catch up. Uh, if you do get out, knocked out of the pack early on, you probably will catch up by by race end. So don't don't worry about it. The only thing I do ask is try and. I mean, it might happen sometimes it just does when we get connected try not to run people purposely into the pit wall <laughs> it, it, it sometimes happens just by accident but try not to do it on purpose usually it's towards the end of the race because everyone's fighting for that bottom lane on the last lap It's going to be interesting to see how these perform with it. Might be harder to even, like, navigate and get people out of the way. I don't know. It's definitely more subdued than the Pacinos. I feel like the Pacinos were bouncing all over the place. Uh-oh. They're toping. There comes Mir Topin. They got the inside line on me. Is that? That's the one down there? Oh no, I gotta get out of this outside. Oh, the one gets under. Alright, midway through. Doesn't look like we're gonna have a fuel issue. Oh no! I always get nervous when I see people get in the wall. I don't want anyone to get a wall riding penalty. Oh, I'm sorry. My bad. However, I just booted out of the way in the purple. It did not turn as well as I thought it was going to. Ah! Oh, we got shuffled out. Back to seventh. Oh, Summer Unicorn. My apologies, Summer. Oh, boy. One lap to go with the line. This time by. Who's that all the way up there? The one? Ah! Oh, Summer Unicorn getting in position. The chess match. Oh, 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 I got shoved down into the pit lane. Summer Unicorn takes the win. Dang it. I would have loved to see the move. That one, I don't think that one was on purpose, though. That was just part of part of the race. And yeah, that one hurt. It jarred me in my computer chair. <laughs> nice job, Summer Unicorn. No, Bearder. <laughs> Inside line was very OP in the box. I feel like you definitely have more options with the Pacino. I think the Pacino is just the perfect thing for it. I don't, I don't, I don't even think the impact. I don't think the stock car is going to be as good as the Pacino is, just because it's like the Pacino. I feel like the center of gravity in the Pacino is very literally in the center. Like sometimes I feel like you're turning as if you were bouncing it on top of a pencil, and I think it just helps everybody. Keep control a little bit better they do bounce off each other pretty good sometimes but 
feel like it's definitely better suited for the super draft stuff. That one was a little subdued. Oh, you're all good, Red Eye. That was just part of the racing. The front pack was intense. We did. We definitely went camping. Uh, let's do before we go to the Pacino Super Draft. We'll we'll do let's do a multi class. That'll be fun. Uh, I love doing multi class at Sugar Hill because I think there's just some good passing zones there. Which ones do we want to use? What multi class race? What would be good? We need a fast and slow, but nothing too ridiculous. I think. Let's do the touring car and the prototype. Will they be different enough? Yeah, let's do the touring car and the prototype. So uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, prototype will be the odds and the touring car will be the evens. So me, Gingerbeard, Lone Wolf, Red Eye, Summer Unicorn. You, we are all in the conquest. The uh, oh wait, hold on. People are still joining. That got messed up, right? Yeah. All right, hold on. Just re hold off uh, on what your assignments. I'll let everybody get in here. I think we probably won't get more than this. Okay. Let me re restate this. Trying to see who lines up to give the right people the car they'd better handle. Oh, we got a full lobby. Let's go. Let's go. Thank you very much. Um, who's even? Who's odds? All right, the touring car will be the the odds now. So, it's gonna be me, Dennis, Idol fan. Morris Fam, Red Eye, and Summer Unicorn. We're going to be in the touring car. We're going to be a slower class. And then the prototype, which is the conquest on the next page, that's going to be the one Gingerbeard, Lone Wolf, Mirtopin, Ribletto, and Waku Waku. Got it? I'm going to set this to any. They're going to have to select your car. Oh, yeah, I probably should change the uh, duration here. We're going to go timed race. And set this to nine minutes. Now, this is um, a multi class race. There's gonna be slower and faster cars, so just keep that in mind. Uh, slower cars, you do not have to give up your racing line in the turns and stuff, but like also don't try to ferociously block somebody on the straightaways. So each class is gonna have to give some, some little bit of courtesy to each other. But uh, yeah, you don't have to stop your race to let the fast cars go. Uh, oh yeah, let's get just get rid of rubber band. We don't need that. Fireware. Hmm. I think this is fine. We'll do get some pit stops in here. Damage from opponents is fine at that. Nine minutes. Cool. Will this get us multiple pit stops? Should I increase this more? That'll definitely get us multiple pit stops. All right, let's go. Everybody remember, uh, the odds are the touring car. That's me, Dennis, Idol Fan, Morris Fam, Red Eye, Summer Unicorn. And then the the evens are the prototype conquest, which is the one, Gingerbeard, Lone Wolf, Mirtopin, Robletto, and Waku Waku. Apologies for the long setup. Here we go. I really enjoy these. This, this is the uh, what we did for uh, my 100th upload special. All right, so if you are unsure, the Road Rebel is the touring car. That's all the odds that I mentioned. And then everybody else was in the uh, the Conquest, this, this one right here. I get my touring car. I hope we have a cool paint scheme. Ooh. Hmm. I, like, I think I like this one. I like doing these as teams too, which 
takes a little bit of planning because so you can both get the same paint scheme, but it's a lot of fun. We might have to do another one of those nights. Be a fun, another fun recording. Got your hundredth episode paint. Nice. Yeah, thank you everybody who's here. That was uh, part of that too. That was that was a lot of fun. Here we go. I love Sugar Hill. It's like that nice mix of simple but still fun to race around. I love the S, like when you nail this thing. It's so satisfying. Look how much faster they are. Yeah. So eventually the lap traffic is going to have to deal with it. We do have all collisions on. Yeah, this is going to be fun. Look at all these crisp paint schemes. I love it. Man, th this Road Rebel is massive. It's so wide. Sometimes I forget how big this car is. I don't drive it that often. I always, like, imagine it in my head like the Vost, but it's so... Like, it's so much bigger. All right, the one looks like they're leading the conquest division. We are not going to be the lead for our division. I forget who is who already. Let's see on the next page. I'm guessing Dennis was finished ahead of us. It should be split six and six. Yeah, so Summer Unicorn getting the pull for the Road Rebels. The one, the pull on the Conquest. Oh, we had one Vost out there. No! That's okay. He can still race. It'll be interesting to see the how different of a, of a, of a speed that, that car is. It's a very similar looking car. Oh yeah, it's faster than the Road Rebel. Oh my bad, I also didn't have the names on that whole time. Yeah, we'll put the names on, everybody can see. Sometimes I turn it off, for I guess a screenshot, and then I forget to turn it back on. And I'm like guessing names and stuff. Much better. Oh boy. It's about... It's about the long game. I'm just going to be patient. Let this four wide situation <laughs> figure itself out. So we don't go get destroyed. Oh man. What? Excuse me. I just want to go ahead. <laughs> Summer Unicorn is driving away. Okay, I'm going to back out of that a little bit, because I feel like the POV was definitely messing around with Red Eye's car. We were basically in Red Eye's trunk. Alright, we've made it through that. The interesting thing with timed races is, like, I wish it still told us how many laps we did. Just for me, my brain works much better in terms of fuel when it does that, because I will not remember how many laps we've done. But I guess we just got to kind of go best on time. So we're hitting 50. About uh, a minute and 40 in, I guess that would be. Oh boy. Oh no. I was trying to hold my line there. I didn't mean to mess you up, Robletto. That scared me going through the S. I'm all out of I'm all shook. There you go. I'm out of whack there. I'll let you go. And the uh conquests are hitting the pits. 
They are hitting the pits. Looks like we're going to have to soon as well. Oh, sorry, Rolling Wolf. I'm all out of swords. I wonder how far ahead... Uh, this is when I would really like splits for the next car. I wonder how far ahead uh, Summer Unicorn is. I'm going to go around again. I don't know why. I feel like testing fate. Ah, Summer Unicorn hit the pits. Yeah, this is actually using fuel very quickly. That might have been bad. I'm not used to this amount of uh, percentage for fuel. So that may have almost been a dumb mood. I'm going to hit, pit, pit, pit. Thank you. <laughs> Whoopsies. I was trying to put my hand out the window. It didn't animate the hand to one. All right, so we got to over... Well, we started at nine minutes. So, over three minutes in, I used almost a full tank of gas. So, we're gonna have to pit again for sure. Oh, John, hello. Sorry, I've given you a little boop there. Nice. We finally get to take like a natural lap. I feel like I was all flustered and driving around traffic that whole time. Look at us go. We can drive smoothly. I am capable of doing this. Oh, hello, fast cars. Oh boy, right through the S's. This is bad timing. Sorry, Robledo. Nice job, everybody. See, that was nice, patient, multi-class racing. I got out of the way when I could. We tried minimal... Or affect each other's races in a minimal fashion. Oh, I looked over at chat for a second, almost missed turn one. Don't text and drive. And we're at 50% on fuel. Tire's not too much of an issue. I guess I could have reversed the percentages on those to make it more of a decision, but it doesn't always have to be a tire decision race. Oh, probably would have let people have more strategy, though, that's for sure. And I, feel, I have a feeling, unless I botch this and we fall through the field, P7 is where we're going to be. <laughs> Here's Summer Unicorn again. Oh my goodness. Oh, Idle Fan was having some sort of glitch fest over there. So we're not, we're not ahead of uh, Summer Unicorn. We're going to have to pit. So they're just on the pit cycle right now. Now I am going to hit that box. Box, box, box. Box, box, box. Boom. Uh, that might have been a mistake. I honestly don't... Nah, maybe we're good? I don't know. I was just kind of guessing. I may have ruined our race. I don't know. We'll find out. Tune in next time. <laughs> we'll find out in about two minutes. <laughs> If we have enough fuel to get to the end. And there's Waku Waku. The Vost, the lone Vost out here in the rally car. And one of the conquests. Your token. Nice. I love that paint scheme, looks really good. Oh, some contact. And they're on their way. 
That's some of the road rebels still finishing up their pit cycles. See if we can get this fast here. I don't know. More conquests going through. Oh, you know what? We're going to be fine on fuel, too. I always forget when I am the slower class, we are not going to be running as many laps. Like, it's going to get... They're going to end this race beforehand for us because the faster cars are going to close up shop. Oh, boy. What is going on in front of us? Poor Lone Wolf. I'm just trying to make my commute, everybody. I'm sorry, Waku Waku. It looks like I just shoved them across the track. It did not feel like that much contact with me. And we're free. Run away. Oh, Ginger Beard is in fifth. Wait a minute, was Ginger Beard in the Conquest or the Road Rebel? Oh, there's the race overall race leader. Leading the Conquest division is the one. Just had some wall contact. There's a uh, lone. Oh, I'm sorry to one. I think we had some POV. There's Robledo. I'm not going to mess with the battle for the lead, although I think I did. Oh! Somebody ran out of fuel. We ran out of fuel, but we crossed the line in P6. Oh my goodness. I was I started concentrating so much on the chaos going around me I almost forgot about our our fuel tank. We ran out of fuel just at the end. So I'm going to take it that Summer Unicorn won our division. Even though Or no. Oh, we did get by. Okay. Oh, all right, we won our division. We are the Road Rebel Victor. The one gets the, the win in the conquest. You lost all inputs right at the beginning, so I got left. Oh, I totally did not know this. I guess I was confused by the Voss being ahead of me in the leaderboard. Wow. Little drifts at the end, though. Yeah, the AI, I like to have some fun after the raid. I'm sorry to hear that, Summer. Well, it was fun racing around you still. Took second in your division. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I, I enjoy that stuff. Because it, even if you're, like, out of maybe contention for your division win, you're still going to be seeing cars, whether you're passing them or they're going, like, around you and stuff like that. So there's always something to concentrate on and do. It's fun. I know. I, I don't normally put the fuel percentage up this high. And it was uh it was definitely affecting me. I was not used to how quick that was going. We're gonna call it there on racing. Alright, sounds good to one. Yeah, it was good racing with you. Thanks for joining in. All right, so now we're going to do the Pacino Super Draft. If you don't know what this is, we typically do a four race about there. I think one time we did five races. We do a, a, a small tournament in the Pacinos. Uh, full full draft, full rubber banding. Or no, did we turn down the rubber banding last time? Because of the road course? No, we keep it on because we have, we have uh, yeah, we do multiple things. Uh, let's, uh, because we just did the other oval. We'll open with this one. Podopolis. What were some of the other good ones? Well, I know, I know the, the Thunder Point. This is, this is probably one of the most fun. It's funny because you think it'd be the ovals. I think this is the most fun one to do this combination at. So I'm not going to add that just yet. Or actually, I guess we could do... Yeah. The um the rubber banding it's a little weird on the road courses. But we do this one. 
see how that goes. Just keep in mind, if you're at the back of the race, you're going to have a lot of extra speed going into the turns that you're going to have to manage. And we usually do the final oval. Close it up. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. Four races. All right, so this is the tournament. We got two spots left. I think we can get a full, full lobby on this one. That I, that uh that multi class race was a blast. That was, that was a good time. Threw it away in the pits. We have two more spots. This is this is another one where. I mean, Thunderpoint Club and Copperwood tend to be... They're still level playing fields, but they tend to be just a little bit more difficult than the ovals. But this is a good one for people, even if you don't feel like you're, uh, you know, top of the leaderboard ace and so on. All right, we, it looks like we're going to be going to 10. Oh, I got to change this. We don't want anybody uh, in the wrong car. Pacino. Pacino. This all look good, yes. Qualify once. Uh, no, we usually do laps. 13 laps, collisions. Uh, I think I'd do this so that, just to make people think twice about like throwing themselves into the field in turn one. There we go. I think that's good. Alrighty, Racing Revel, you're a little late from the Xfinity. Are you Are you gonna hop in? If you hop in, I will give you a second to load in. If not, we're gonna get started. And a three, and a two, and a one. Alright, here we go. Ten cars. Oh, they're in. Oh, I wasn't even looking at that. I forgot. I We lost the one. But you took their spot. Okay, now it makes more sense. Oh, boy. This was what I made before we... Okay. Yeah, I think I'll... I'll yeah. I'm not going to be in the bearder colors. It's okay. I'll be in this thing. My Joker arc. Uh, like I said earlier, uh, this this type of racing, people are going to be over bumpers. Just kind of be as courteous as you can. Try not to run people into the pit lane wall, especially on the ovals. Uh, I mean, sometimes it happens, so is what it is. But just you know, don't try to do it on purpose. It's a wicked car. Thank you. I was so jealous of everybody with the checkerboard tops last race. I had to get my own checkerboard top. Oh, I almost forgot this wasn't the uh, bullseye. This is the huge Spadopolis. I was like, why is this turn taking so long? feel pretty good about that lap. E3? Yeah, all right, there we go. When's the 99 lap rocket race? No, thank you. No, thank you. But I did think about it the other day, so maybe at some point, yes. And that's the only qualifying out of the whole thing, so Robledo getting the single extra bonus point. Suggest oval? They won't flip it. I will flip it. Alright, good luck, everybody. 
Remember, this is a uh, point situation. So if you're having a bad race, just trying to get the best position you can, and you get another race to try to make up for it. A lot of things can happen during these races. Also, if you are at the back of the field, remember you are going to have a lot more speed than you are at the front of the field because of the, the rubber banding. One thing I do not want to get in these things is the uh, the wall riding penalty. It, that's a bit of a race killer. I mean, if you get it early on, it's not too bad because of the rubber banding and the draft, but it can really hurt you. Oh, I'm sorry, Gingerbeard. Hold on to it. Man, I am driving awful. I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm losing my concentration. We got a wreck back there. Just behaving. Oh boy. Oh, hold on to it, Red Eye. All oh, right in front of Lone Wolf. Ginger Beer going for the undercut. Hitting the pits. Honestly, with the rubber banding, that might be a strategy. I think the undercut was very strong last time. Oh no, Waku Waku, I'm sorry. I'm hitting the pits. Oh, we both had the same idea and did the same exact thing. All right, the field is split. We're, they're, we're all going to come back together regardless, but... It'll be interesting to see where everyone pops out. And they're all hitting the pits now. You can see them at the top left of the track map. Hope you're doing good, Rich. I see you in chat. All right, let's see where we cycle in here. And we pass them all by. The thing is, even though we are going to get a little bit of a lead here, it's going to be gone the moment they get up to speed anyway. Oh! Ah. You chipped my paint. This is, this is fresh paint. My Joker art. Oh, cone! Put that cone there. Woo! I'm trying to stay off you. Alright, we gotta concentrate a little bit more now. And a 13. Ginger beard right back up here in that creamsicle orange. I love it. Oh boy. 11 of 13. Ah! 12 of 13. Next time by, it's going to be white flag at the line. Look at this bunch up here. They just like shot out of a cannon. Oh no! Oh, I see you, Robledo. I see. No, no, yeah. Wake up, wake up with the lead. I have a feeling no one wants to be up front right now. Look at this. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Give it to me. Dang it. Oh, nice job, Robletto. Uh, I thought I was going to get just enough 
Especially when you touched the wall. I thought you were you were done, but you kept enough speed. Good job. Oh, thank you, Stream Elements bot. Go, beard or go. What a good finish. Point zero one two. Oh man, a few I see a few drivers had a unfortunate finish to that race. That speedway racing, I suppose. Oh yeah, it does give a point for fastest lap. You're right. That was a good race, little confetti. Yeah, it's a different type of race, and obviously you gotta take it with a chip on your shoulder. Sometimes you're the beneficiary of the randomness, sometimes you are not. I'm a prime example in this stream. I got the pit road wall the last, <laughs> the last super trap race. And we were fighting for the lead in this one. Alrighty. Uh, do note, at the bottom of the hill, this is not qualifying either. It's just reverse grid. So uh, contact is on. At the bottom of the hill, you are going to have to use your brake. It's a downhill with an extreme turn. And we're all going super fast. So just keep that in mind. <laughs> oh boy. I thought someone was going to the pits. I thought that we were losing a few. I love this track with this setup. It's so good. Oh, that was I didn't touch it on my screen, Lone Wolf, but it definitely looks like it looks like I probably did on your screen. The way your car just went to the left. Oh, this is so good. I can't I can't turn I'm sorry red eye oh when someone gets on your back corner panel you just cannot turn that's what the AI does to me all the time in those seasons ah. oh Robletto ah. it'd be a lot of fun too if um for these races if you could set settings for bonus points like if you want the fast lap have a bonus point if you want like if someone leads a lap or the most laps led if they get a bonus point because it would really change some strategy too like someone could try to go instead of always going for an undercut or something like they could try to go for most laps led and they'd stay out a little longer because especially with a pit cycle they might get that one more lap they need kind of stuff i know that's a tall ass though Oh no, who was that in the pits? Was that Robletto? Oh no, I think Robletto missed their pit. Or maybe they're getting the physics thing. I don't know. Six of 13. Oh no! <laughs> I've started following. Oh, oh, it started a chain reaction. Oh, this that's our race. That's our race. I thought Mirtopin was going in the pits. I'm so sorry if you were not. I was following you, and I thought we were going to make it around that pit wall. I hope I wasn't pushing you on your screen into the pit wall. That also would have been unfortunate. Oh, man. We started a chain reaction, too. Oh, yeah. Robledo's definitely got some sort of physics thing going on. What the heck? Oh, we were a lap down. That's why. I was like, why am I here? I'm not in second, am I? Give me this rubber band pace. Vroom vroom. I don't feel that much faster. There we go. I don't feel much faster. I guess I am picking away a little bit. Let's see how the pit cycle goes. The whole field got destroyed. This is the most separated I think I've ever seen us at this track with this super draft setup. This is kind of wild. I've I've never really seen this. Oh, I love the rubber getting onto the white uh line there on the turn. So good. Oh yeah, he did have my draft, that's true. We only cycled up the P8. Yeah, that kind of hurt our race. Maybe we'll get enough pace here. Make up some of this ground by the by the end of this race. 
I think at least I don't I don't think we're a lap down anymore at least. Lap eleven of thirteen. Come on, get us back in here. Don't call to come back. We at least need to finish higher than we are for the points situation. I feel bad Robledo must be having some sort of issue. I saw them in the pits on the side. At least they got the uh, the win in the first race, though. Maybe it won't knock them out of the standings. All right, it's going to be last lap this time by. We have caught the field, but I don't think we're close enough to the top portion to really make a run, especially if I get a corner cut there. We avoided that, at least. Uh, that messed up anything. I was hoping we could get a few spots here at the end. Dang, a P8. I deserved it. I deserved it. Ah, uh, I'm sorry, Mirtopin. I'm sorry. What a what an awful moment on my part. I feel like I I tipped the entire race on its head. Hey, he's still got a podium now. Good, 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 good. Nice job, Racing Revel, on the victory. You got way out there, huh? And Dennis takes over the points lead. 30 points total. Racing Revel up to second. We're third with 22. Gingerbeard Lone Wolf behind us just by two back. Two points back. I, I, I really like I, I really enjoy that one. I like that track with it. It adds a little element, like the downhill with the with the extra pace that you have and stuff. So good. All right, this is this is one where I think uh, when you're at the back of the field, the extra the rubber band stuff might affect your cornering. So just keep in mind, when you're going around, you might have to break a little earlier or whatever if you're at the back of the field. Oh, oh, John just got a face full of rock. We got out of that. Put the car pretty clean. Honestly, I, I thought we were going to get some level of damage to deal with there, but we still had 100%. Oh. Red, red Eye cleared themselves off the front of my nose. <laughs> ah, we're lagging. Oh, no. It's so interesting, like, as you get to the front, you can you can literally feel the slowdown because of the rubber band. Like, it's just, it feels so different. Oh no, wake awake! Oh, nice save. Alright, P3. Five of thirteen. Oh, I was looking around the track map and ran right into the wall. That's what I get. I was just seeing if anyone was pitting. We did have someone bite. I think that undercut's gonna be massive. We had a single car. Racing Revel stays out. Let me hit the pits. I love my crew. Look at those. Like, they look so good. Those threads are awesome. Probably could have left just a little earlier than I did, but it's fine. All right, we cycle out in P6. I think some still at the pit, though. Yeah, someone just entered. Oh, 
Nice pass, Racing Rebel. And P2. Uh, Racing Rebel's got some pace, though. Oh, I... Oh, my car hopped a little over that bump. I hit the curb a little too much. Got the grass, and it kind of launched us wide. Man, Mir Topin destroying right now. We're just trying to play catch up. Ooh. Oh no! Oh, the race leader, John in West Texas. That's no good. I have, I believe I have damage at 50, so hopefully the damage wasn't too much. Your token's not out of this one. I'm gonna let you have that spot. There you go. Now if I pass you, I'm gonna keep it, but I, I, I'm gonna let you have that one. There we go. I think Racing Rebel had the same idea. Nice. All right. It's going to be last lap this time by at the line. It's all on the line now. Oh, no. The leader hits the inside wall. Racing Revel gets into the outside wall. We're beating and banging. Oh, Dennis gets into the mix in fourth place. And one final lap. Oh, I tried to send it, but I had to back out of it because I didn't want to boot Racing Revel to the moon. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh no. Uh, uh, uh. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Oh my goodness. Oof. That was a good race. Nice job. That was fun. I think Mirtopin probably would have ran away with that one. But I'm glad that we all still got the race there at the end. That was good. Oof. Just, just went to win. <laughs> I just saw your comment about that earlier. Dane. John just went to meet Dwayne Johnson. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, uh, that was a good race. Oh, we have a tie heading into the final race. 42 points apiece. Dennis and I, Racing Revels in second, two points back. Oh my goodness. <laughs> hey, I mean, if someone just presents you with Reese's ice cream in the middle of a race, you gotta pull over. I mean, have you seen Talladega Nights? You hit the pits. Or I mean, Talladega Nights, what am I doing? Days of Thunder. The heck did I say Talladega Nights for? What a race. Alright, this one's for all the marbles. Championship. Implication. Oh, John took out Mirkotopin again. It's like a heat seeking missile. We're gonna we're gonna boop draft you. Oh boy, three wide, four wide-ish. Look at that drift on the inside. Oh no! Oh that one. Oh, at least everybody's still together. That was a pretty tough hit. We got some smoke going on. Oh boy. Oh, we got hooked on the, the outside of Waku Waku.
I can't stop ping ponging off of everybody. <laughs> I had a card in my inside and my outside. Gingerbeard hit the pits. I don't know if it was voluntary or not. I love the uniforms that they have. Like, it looks good on the car, but I love the combination on the pit crew. Looks so good. Alright, we're gonna cycle in at E4, but I wonder if we're gonna pass those in the pits right now. Oh, the heck happened there? Yeah, okay, we're getting our places back. Oh, Racing Rebel, though. Drag racing us out of the pits. Ugh. Take a picture. Oh. <laughs> oh. All right, we're over the midway point. <gasps> Wah! We almost got annihilated, but we're all good. And a 13. I forget who's in the championship. I think Dennis and I are tied. And they're, I forget who the other person was. I know Mir Topin was fourth. Oh! What the heck? I don't know what happened there. I'm gonna guess there was some POV issue. Cause it looked like Red Eye got turned by a ghost. 12 of 13. It's gonna be last lap next time. Bye. Oh, we got the inside wall clipped. Eh. Oh, don't let us get shuffled out here. Here we go. Here comes the chess match. <laughs> oh, the same thing happened as early on. No. Oh, I think that was because of me that Ginger Beard hit that wall. Oh, Racing Revel. Nice job. Racing Revel getting the win. Dennis gets us at the line. I think that was the championship. Sherbert Racing Crew. For sure. For sure. I'm sorry, Ginger Beard. I, I think that the contact between us definitely sent you into that pit wall. And Racing Revel gets the championship by two points. Dennis finishes second. We take third overall. And that is the Pacino Super Draft. I can't believe it beats me again. Nice job. I feel like this is so anticlimactic to see. Like, I need, because we don't have the music on, we need some other sound effect. Original Fire Games, can you please? I'll take anything. We'll, we'll put a lawnmower in the back. <laughs> Let us rev our engines. Yeah, that was a lot of little conduct all the way through. Ugh. Oh, that was good. I enjoy that. Thank you, everybody, for partic per uh, partaking in the uh, the super draft. I know it's probably not everyone's cup of tea, but I very much enjoy it. Get that music rolling again. Too quiet. Oof. Oh, did you finish your ice cream, Ribletto? You're you're gonna join us now.
Hmm. I was gonna do a rally cross with the super truck, but probably good. Hey, Sin Good, how you doing? Looks like we lost a, a few. If you're heading out for the night, thank you very much for racing. Fun. We can turn this down now. Take a little break from the super draft. Exit strategy, totally welcome to join us. Most definitely. This looks pretty good. Want to break from the rubber banding? Yeah. That's why I, like, I, I try to go back and forth between like more legitimate racing. Like the... I don't know if you'd say more legitimate. I think that's in the eye of the beholder, obviously. But the... Uh, we are playing a video game. <laughs> I, I try to go more to like the more basic... like. That was, I guess, I don't know, meant to be played, but more, you know, base racing and then flipping between that and the kind of meme-ish fun settings, combinations. My heart can't take all these position changes. Oh, yeah, for sure. Oh, my goodness. I know that feeling's been good. Hope you, uh, I hope you have a good, good restful night. Wow, James, you just got in. You're like Indiana Jones pulling the hat under the, the closing door. Oh, good. Thank you. I'm glad you're enjoying the, the change-ups. Ooh, do I go a little bit more abstract? I think this was my alt. I usually run this one. I really, I think this is... Pretty good. I like that scheme, but I always run it, so I'm gonna mix it up for this one. Yeah, we've been getting a few Switch players the last few Saturdays, which has been good to see. How do you join? Oh, there was a, um, well, it'll have to come after this race. The next one, when we go back into that lobby screen, on the top left, there is a lobby code. So you go to uh, online racing. I forget what it's called on the main menu. Go to online racing, join a lobby, and then put in the lobby code. Did they add motorcycles? Uh, I particularly don't know how that would go with this. Oh, is everyone back? I got a little nervous everyone got disconnected somehow. Uh, I don't know how that would feel on this game, to be honest. In this game build. I mean, if people are interested in it, I'm not going to poo-poo on their parade. But me particularly, eh. I don't know about motorcycle. I don't know. I saw an interesting... I can't remember who posted. I saw... I did see an interesting... So honestly, I don't know what other car I would personally want that would be, like, super different than all these. I can't really think of one off the top of my head right now. But I did see an interesting one in the uh, suggestions on their Discord. I don't remember who posted it, because I saw it a while back. But someone said something about electric car, which was kind of interesting, because they were like... You start with a certain charge, and you have to manage the, the charge throughout the race. So I guess technically, if you don't take care of it, you're not going to have fuel at the end. 
which might kind of stink, to be honest. But uh, that was an awful qualifying lap by me. <laughs> I was not fully paying attention. Well, maybe it was good. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention to it. We have P3 right now. But I think uh, I think that was kind of an intriguing suggestion. Monster trucks. That would be kind of cool. I don't I don't know how they would race either, or what that would look like in this game, scale wise. But I would take that because then we could have monster truck shows and run over all the little pachinos. I'll uh, I'll show you. Remind me on the um, after this race exit strategy. I'll I'll show you where it is. RV racing. All right, good luck, everybody. Have a good race. Oh, there's a little bit of a uh, tie up there in the field. Doesn't look like too big of an accident, though. Ah, spun the tires. Dang it. This is not one of my best tracks. So I'm going to put that out there. I struggle on the dirt section, especially. That wasn't too bad. I can't help but commentate, but then when I commentate is when I mess up. I already made up some time there. I did turn the rubber banding off, right? I think so. Ooh, I, <laughs> I called that one close. This is a cool feature of this, the train going by. That's pretty fun. Oh, what the heck was that? Botch turn one. All right, there they go. Keep them in distance, because Robledo and Mortopen are are going at it. So you never know. They slow each other down or whatever. They get into a, a fisticuffs in the middle of the straightaway. Got to break them up. And then we take the lead. You never know. Just got to keep keep there. Stay in, stay in a spot for an opportunity. And racing luck is... What, what did Larry Mack say a few, uh, few weeks ago on on air. It's like, luck is where uh, preparation and opportunity meet. That's racing in a nutshell, for sure. There is no luck. There's no luck until you, you realize you had some bad luck and you crash out. <laughs> Oh no, Miratopin, no! I feel like that keeps happening. They get stuck on the wall. I don't know if it's like a like a server thing or what. Oh, is Robledo giving it back? Oh, is that a spin? I wasn't I wasn't part of it. Do I have to also give my spot back? Ouchies! Oh, they hit the pits. I guess that probably would have been a good time to hit the pits. I was a little flustered after the whatever happened. I'm still working on getting myself centered again. I watched Robledo rob Miratopin's wallet right in front of me. It happened right here at this spent. And then they tried to give it back. 
And quite frankly, it has flustered me. We're hitting the pits, pit crew. I hope you have the tires. Because these ones are about to fall off. Oh, that was a bad spot by me. I did not look at the fuel. I'm going to assume that's enough. And it's like nothing ever changed. Except for the lead. It's, uh, this is another interesting thing about this track, is, like, the color of the, the rubbering in. Like, I guess maybe because of the way the sun's hitting it, it's not as dark, or just, like, that's the way it is on this track. But this one definitely doesn't get rubbered in the same way. But it's cool. It looks like a different type of pavement, which I kind of like. I like that they all don't look exactly the same. Some of the tracks definitely look like they got like similar pavement style. I wasn't going to try to make the pass right then in that little area. I, I, that would have wrecked us. Gosh darn it. Oh. <laughs> Hello train. How you doing today? Drift a little wide. And it's getting down to the wire. Oh, I can't stop bouncing off the walls all of a sudden. Dang it. Oh, we were getting we were, we were finally getting there to set up a move. Last lap. Robletos run away with this thing. They're powered by What was it? Reese's ice cream? There's no catching them. be able to get a pass in here. Ah, nice job, McTuffin. Nice job, Robledo, getting a W. That was a good race. That was fun. <clears throat> yeah, if anyone has uh, suggestions, I'm open to them as well. Or else I'll just keep throwing random things up there. So cool. That's what I thought at first. I thought it was just like a, a misjudged turn, but I wasn't sure if I was seeing a different POV.
when I when Robledo let you buy, I was assuming then that maybe it was like an incident that I did not see on my screen. But that's what it looked like at first. It was I didn't see Robledo was close enough for it. Uh yeah, GT and Tilt Sport Club. We can make that happen. That sounds fun. I don't think I've done Tilt Sport Club in a minute. Yeah, this is a this is fun. All right. Uh, oh yeah. Where is exit strategy? At the top left, you see UMX MBL. That's the that's the code that you put in to get into the lobby. Calling exit strategy. Would you please come to the front desk? All right, thank you, the one. Peace. Have a good night. Exit strategy. Are you here? Have you made your exit? We got Steam. We got PlayStation. We got we are we. I keep saying we. We got Switch. No Xbox, though. Don't got no Xbox here today. All right. I think we might head out. If you miss this one, there'll be another. Boom. Ooh, I always forget that I did this game. I like this one. Yeah, that's sleek. Oh, good. 150 tire, 125 fuel. That's gonna be a lot of pit stop. Or no, 11 laps. It's a longer course, but we're doing club. I don't. I don't really remember how long. Never done tilt sport. Outside of the rally cross in a hot minute. We bocce ball. Why do you say that? I almost streamed a bocce ball game the other night. See you, Dane. Have a good one. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Oh, Racing Revel's got a pretty cool scheme behind us. That looks pretty good. Now it's starting to come back to me. Oh man, it has been a long time since I've done Tilt Sport. Now that I'm on it, I can really, I get, I can definitely tell. I'm gonna be a little rusty at the start of this race. I messed up that last turn. We lost a lot of speed. Dang it. Oh, I still would have had a good. It was a pretty good lap, and then it fell apart. Oh. Hold on the P3. I was really feeling it. I, all of a sudden, when we hit the, the timer, 
It was all going well. And then that, those last few turns, I threw it all away. B4. All right. We're going to be in traffic. We can work our way up, though. Here, Dope, nice job on the pole. So we had a 1.5 penalty. So I guess I would have maybe been in P3. So we didn't lose too much. We got the same time, Red Eye? Oh, I didn't even notice. <laughs> Dennis was like, all right, peace out. I ain't going to be a part of, part of turn one. Oh my goodness, Red Eye. Oh, Racing Revel, I think is having some lag. Uh. Oh, we really, really drifted through that turn, lost some time. Hello, John. Ah, I messed up turn one. Try something different. See how it goes. We come out in sixth. There's still going to be some cycle to go. Sorry, I had got freshies. <sighs> this is not good for our outlap. This may have just killed the strat. There we go. That's on me though, that's not on Red Eye. They have the right to that position. Dang it, I was hoping to make up some ground on, uh, on those two up front. Uh, that outlap was not gonna do it. That's the risk you take, though. When you take the short pit, you, you're potentially going to get some traffic. Leno does take over the lead. We all had a different pit stop, the three leaders. That's interesting. Here, Tobin's going to have some uh, fresher tires. Oh, no, we got the dirt.
James is on the way. They're on the hunt. Oh, hey, John of West Texas. Hold on to it. Hold on to it. Oh, boy. I don't know where to go. Sorry, John. I was trying to just get by. I was as clean as I think I could make it. Alright, so they're gone. The two leaders. Oh my goodness. Best I can hope for is to hold on the P3. James was on the move, too, behind us. I think, uh... Yeah, they're still coming. We were saved by traffic. Through the go. Oh, did I push it? Oh, interesting. Really? I have not been paying attention how much I need. Oh man, I really uh and I I, I went way too far on the tires too. Alright, well, hey, we made our bed. Oh boy, yeah, we're gonna be out. Ah, yep. I did not take enough fuel. Dang it. The only, re only reason I was fighting James, too, is because I was like, maybe they also didn't take enough fuel. That's what I get for... I pitted way too early, I guess, and I didn't take a full tank. Well, we're going to get P5. Did someone disconnect? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's a possibility. I don't know who it was. Go. Hey, nice job, Mirtopin. Aye. Good job there. James on the podium as well as Robledo. Ended up in the pit on lap two. Then I thought it was on lap ten, but it was the final lap. Weird race. <laughs> yeah, I guess if the if the lead if you're a lap down, then the leader uh, will end your race early too. Got a new pickup truck. I don't know if everyone will have that because I think they need the DLC. I don't. I don't think everyone here has a DLC. That's the unfortunate thing. It'd be cool if, if the host, if they have the DLC, if like they set it as the car, if everyone could then have it. But I know they they need to lock it off to make money, obviously. All right. Uh, I think this might be towards the end for me. What are we feeling? Do we want to... How many people would be interested in maybe like another mini Enduro with two car classes? I think that was kind of fun. We could do that again. It'd just be a, a matter of picking what to use for it. I haven't used the muscle car in a while. Yeah, 
I think that's uh, that's how we'll close out. We'll do we'll do a mini endurance with two car classes. So this uh, I think this might be the last one. Stock car versus muscle car endurance. Uh, yeah, actually, that might be kind of cool. We'll try that. Yeah, we have three spots. Probably going to be the last race. We'll do a uh, muscle car and stock car. And uh, once we make sh once we know that the lobby's as full as it's going to be, I'll give out the assignments. Guess I'll pick the track as well. We go to Thunder Point. done whistle valley in a minute i don't know how that will how conducive that'll be to a multi-class race though and passing opportunities i feel like we could run into some issues let's do it though i haven't i haven't been there in so long it'll be nice to mix it up uh stock car and muscle car is this all we got all right I, uh, so odds will be the muscle car. That's me, Idle Fan, Your Topin, Racing Revel, and Wiku Wiku. And then Evens will be the stock car. So that's Dennis, Lone Wolf, Red Eye, Ribletto. We might run into some issues. Let's do it. So again, odds are the muscle car, Evens are the stock car on that list. What am I doing? Nope. Oh, I want this to be all. Any. And then we'll go to duration. Get to 10 minutes. That's that's like a good mini endurance race, right? Yeah. Get some pit stops in here. Hmm, 150. That that went real quick. 175. We'll let people make some decisions. And the first drama, we'll go to 75 on the damage. Alrighty. I think this is good. Just remember what you got. Odds, muscle car, evens, stock car. Gonna run a Jimmy Jam 48 scheme. There you go. All right, so this is the stock car, the impact, if you're that. And then the muscle car is the loose cannon. Man, I, I kept it really simple for these schemes, huh? Hmm. I'm gonna go with this. Taking a while. There we go. Alright, so last race of the night. Let's make it a good one. Multi-class race. Start with one lap of qualifying. Oh, look at these paint schemes. Those all look good. I feel like the impact feels I haven't really driven this in a minute. It feels different. I mean the loose cannon. 
Oh, there's the there's the tire spin I missed. Oh man, I am gonna be garbage. You too? So the muscle cars are quicker, huh? Interesting. Oh yeah, it doesn't have the four on it. That's interesting. Nice job on pole, Mirror to open. And then Robledo leading the impact division. We're all mixed up here. I feel like these aren't enough of a speed difference, but we'll see. Oh boy. You gotta raise others how you wanna be raised. Just putting that out there. I am definitely confused on the pace of these two cars. Oh my goodness. We've run into issues early on. We're gonna have to dig out of this hole. Corners in the muscle car, your worst enemy. Yeah, it's coming back to me now. At first I thought it was easier to drive for a second, but I think it's definitely changed a little. But it's still fishtails like crazy. I think I have a better time driving this than the the impact though than the stock car. Oh my goodness. The monsters came and stole all my talent. Ah, uh, sorry, Waku. We're gonna throw the yellow. Throw the yellow. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. All right, let's just reset. There we go. Get some open track. Get some laps down. See what happens the rest of the race. Still a long ways to go. Even though it's not like, you know, like a 99 lap or 24 minute, whatever. 10 minutes is still a pretty long time for a circuit superstar race. Too bad. That should be closer to the CD there. We fall into P6. See if we can make our way back up the leaderboard a little bit. 
People are going to be pitting. We're going to be way off cycle. There's one spot through the pits. But we're going to keep going back and forth through the leaderboard. We're just going to be on a totally different strat. I wish I paid attention to when I came out of the pits so I knew exactly when this tank's going to run out. I am driving so sloppy. This track makes me, like, driving on this track and this car makes me think of, like, early Circuit Superstars back in way earlier, early access. When I first got the game. Looks like two classes that don't like turning on a twisty track. You have that right. Oh my goodness. Come on, hold it together. We're at zero tire too. Everyone's gotta make decisions like, do you wanna race on zero tire? Do you wanna push the fuel? Do you wanna get those tires fixed up? fall through the field one more time on this pit stop. We push the fuel tank. I left 1% of fuel in the, in their little fuel tank filler. Ugh. 741 exit of the pits. Thank you, Gingerbeard. I think that's it. I, th I think I'm going to make it now. I probably didn't have to wait in the pits that long. I don't know. We'll see. The tires are going to run out right away. I'm also a lap down now, I'm going to assume. So, I probably wasted a ton of time sitting there for the full fuel. But we'll see. I could just be totally wrong on that. We run out of fuel. I'm not really counting that much. We did lose a spot, though. Let's see if we can get back past Lone Wolf. I don't know if they have to pit again or not. Or if we're done pitting. There's Lone Wolf. Put all the rubber on the curbing. So, so good. This part especially. I think that looks amazing. Oh! John taking a clash trip. Over the hills and through the woods over there. Alright, there's fifth. We got red eye in front of us now in fourth position.
Uh, I feel like Red Eye's pushing zero tires, I'm gonna guess, the way they're sliding around. We just had enough tire to get by. We're plenty good on fuel. And then Dennis is still ahead of us, but I, there's no one even near us on the map, so this might be as high as we go. But if we can recover the P4, I'm pretty happy with that. I mean, we had an awful start. We got caught up in a wreck, had to pit off sequence, fix some damage. So we're all good. Boom. P4. Hey, Wrinkly Turtle. Yeah, this is probably the last one of the night. I gotta prep tonight. Still got some work to do. Working on editing some stuff, too, for next week, because I'll be gone a few days. I want uploads to go out. Nice job, Mirror Topin. You had full control of that race. Who won the, I'm gonna guess, Robletto won the uh, NASCAR division? The impact. Yeah, there we go. It was a pretty even car combo, I think. For the most part. I think the muscle car was a little quicker. But it was pretty close. It was interesting. Usually we have such a fast and slow combo. Kind of really separates the field. Nice job. Uh, and Dennis as well getting on the podium overall. Alrighty. Well, thank you, everybody. I, uh enjoyed this this was fun i hope you all had a blast second you get in oh the second you get a uh, playstation you're gonna you're gonna join in with us awesome hey lone wolf thank you for the ten dollars new zealand i do appreciate it and thank you for the b as well i see a bunch of b's in chat so thank you very much everybody uh uh bleh, with the memorizations Thank you, John in West Texas. Had fun racing. Thank you for Blood O, Red Eye, Ginger Beard. Mir Topin. Would you rather me say that or Juan Pablo? Been good. Have a good one. Red Eye. I think I said Red Eye already. Yeah. Have a good night. Really enjoyed this one. Going up. I don't think I'm missing anyone. Dennis, have a good one. that's uh oh yeah i should exit this no one just joins <laughs> but that was that was a blast oh one thing we forgot to do we forgot to do uh bonka donk so we'll, we'll do definitely do that next time and i have another game i thought up too which i i want to unleash maybe i'll do that as a recording first for a video we'll see if you want to be part of it i'll probably make an announcement at some point i need uh i need cars for a recording in the in our discord so that's where i'll i'll put that out Probably won't be for probably won't be next week because I'm gonna be on the road, but take away Q see it. Thanks for joining in. And thank you, thank you, thank you. Shout out to Lone Wolf for the ten dollar. Appreciate. It. Let's stop this music. We're gonna get the funky music close up shop oh yeah if you enjoyed tonight's stream it would make me feel also oh happy if you left a like and help this video and the you know the algorithm things follow the channel tell your friends we got a bunch of circuit superstar content on here if you like the game come and subscribe and all that jay hey, yeah you know it Gotta dance. Hmm. Hmm. Do it for Jakenstein. <laughs> uh, also, if anyone's here, that's part of uh, my regular community. If you have iRacing in a wheel, seeing Robledo just reminded me. I am starting up a, a summer series. I'm gonna start mid-July using the Legends. 
hoops on a mix of uh, small oval and road. So I am still accepting some drivers for that. You can catch me on Discord if you want more information. We'll be seeing you. Peace. Hey, Practical, I see you. Have a good night. You're still here for some reason. What are you doing here? Nah, I'm not gonna Ferris Bueller in this. I'm just getting a screenshot for or, uh, for the cover because I've used this thumbnail before. So you get bonus bearder. So thanks for sticking around. <laughs> it's the post credit scene. <laughs>
Alrighty. This is it. I'm applying the new thumbnail. We waited around this long. I mean, really, what are you doing? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, let's see. Slide. All right, have a good one. Thank you so much. See you a little more pizza time.